Hello. <laughs> hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Sunday. Good morning. What on earth are you doing awake this early? How you doing? Sunday morning crew, let's go. It's been a while, hey. It's been a while since we've done a, a Sunday morning stream. Tomcat, how you doing? It's been a while since we've had Tomcat from the start. Oh, missed you, missed you. Good to have you here. Alpha was here too. Oh my goodness, we got a party now. We got a party. We can fight the boss. We've got an end party in our in our RPG. You're getting by? Good? Sleep good, everybody? Alpha? Good? Got some tea? Now's the perfect time for a hot bevy, I'm telling you. Hey, oh, what was that? Oh, Spotify, get out of the way. Thank you for the host. Appreciate that. Dang it, Spotify. You can go over here. Spoofy? Always getting in the way. There we go. I want to see that again. Oh, that's cool. <coughs> Thank you. I appreciate the host. Yeah, man, make sure to get yourself like a coffee or a tea or like um, a milk. I know, Tomcat, you like milk in the morning. Uh, drop a milk, maybe. Get yourself something nice. Something nice to, to, to drink in the morning. Maybe maybe a bowl of cereal, maybe a little bit of toast. Get yourself some, some breakfast. Good. We'll, we're going to have a good mythical morning. Go have a... A good mythical breakfast. Which is what used to be the show. That used to be what the show was called. Funny enough. Milk? Jail. No. Milk is great. We don't put people who like milk in jail. We give them awards. We give them rewards because milk is delicious. It's wonderful. Have leftover KFC. Oh, that's good. Ooh, that's good. Are you, uh, are you the type that will heat up the chicken, um, and eat it then, or, uh, will you just free, free ball it, eat it, eat it cold? Depends on your mood. Same here, honestly. Same here. It all depends. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind cold chicken, as long as, you know, it, it was cooked and stuff, yeah. It's not bad. What's up? Alpha, do you hate milk? Do you not like milk? Oh man. I got called into work today, so. Alpha, you don't like milk? Never have, that's fair. That's fair, it's not, not, not everybody does. Since platinuming, plat, plat, platinuming, since platinuming bug snacks last week, I've had the theme stuck stuck in my head. Uh, I'm thinking about bug snacks. I don't, I don't remember the name of the, the the way the song goes. I want to stream bug snacks before the end of the year. I think because I wanted to stream it last year, but then it just got lost in the fold. Really, sometime in uh, in November or December, I think I'll try to get to it if I can remember. That's usually the biggest. The biggest issue. How have you? Uh, how have you been finding uh, dread? Have you been enjoying yourself? I've played for about four or five hours now, I think, and uh, I, I haven't gone back to it yet since the first time I've kind of sat down because it is stressful. <laughs> it is stressful as hell. Every time I need to go in through those one of those special doors, I'm like. Okay, <laughs> so that's that's just everything that I've uh, had to encounter. Really, you've only played for two or three hours. Nothing yesterday. That's fair. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna get more more into it. I think deeper into it. It's been fun. I really I really do enjoy it. Just just all the small things. <laughs> like that band, um, really really add up, and it feels good. Hanging out with pizza and she was on the couch working at school, so I played Sable on my PS on my PS on my PC. What is Sable? 
I was playing Animal Crossing for like five hours last night. The uh, the 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 island is looking pretty good. I gotta say, I'm I'm excited to show you guys. Sable is on Game Game Space. Let's have a quick look. Sable. Exploration non-combat adventure game. V relaxing. Ooh. Let me see. Reminds you of Journey? Oh, I've seen I've seen the graphic style before. I've seen like videos or, or something of this. Looks very cool. I do like the like, like the graphics the graphics are beautiful for this. Love it. You can buy it now for $31.99 or join join the Games Pass for $15 a month. Very cool. I like it. I was um I was planning on doing more Project Zomboid, but uh as as fun as the other day was, I I, I don't know if it's it's a game that I'm gonna be able to stream. Because uh, it's one of those games where I kind of like to just shut up and kind of do my own thing. So I don't know if we're going to touch Project Zomboid anymore. I'm glad to have gotten at least one stream out. But um, um, I didn't know what else to play. Because I, I was kind of just banking on Project Zomboid kind of taking over again once I started to play it. But but it didn't hook me back in. Um, I definitely, I, I think it's, it's one of those moments where you just kind of wait for the up... The updates to come out and then once it's updated a bit you, then you'll get hooked and jump back in but I think I played it too much in uh, in August <laughs> yeah uh, once uh, once the multiplayer streams come out yeah I'd love to get one or two people in into a server so we can play together because nobody wants to survive the zombie apocalypse alone right so you guys set up a little farm last night I'll oh, see that's great I love that and you'll be able to get so much more done in Zomboid with somebody else. So. Alpha, what have you been doing all week? Are you working today? Or are you off today? Pizza burned down one of the two houses you had available. Oh, no. Well, then I guess you had to move in together. Wah, wah. You're off today? Nice. Separate moms, right, yes, you mentioned. Yeah, yeah. Groovy. She burned herself down as well? <laughs> my uh, my employee uh, called in sick, um, and then his, his sister kind of verified that like he's incredibly ill right now, which you don't like to hear. Like, it sucks to hear someone being sick. But then all of my other employees had Thanksgiving plans. <laughs> With their families, so I'm like, all right, I guess I won't. I guess I won't go see my family, and I'll go work at the store. <laughs> but I've also got a bunch of growler stuff that I need to finish as well, so I'm going to be working two jobs. I'm going to go instead of spending Thanksgiving with my family. I'm going to go work two jobs instead. Can't wait. I hope you guys have a good day, though. I really do. Lost her farming experience bonus. She spent all her time reading while I drove around slowly with. The Sunday driver perk. Oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that that's helpful. Sucks to lose your farming experience bonus, though. I guess you guys... Can you speed up time when there's somebody else around? Or I guess it's it's not worth it, really. That that option might not have even been in there at that at that point. That's uh, that's probably one of the features that was added in the uh, in the newer 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 versions. I wonder if they'll keep it. I wonder if they'll keep um, keep speeding up time in uh, in multiplayer and how that would work. Yeah, in a solo game, it'd be cool to not in a regular game, just because with with other people around, you wouldn't want to mess things up. And again, it, it adds more uh, drama and and stuff when you've got to slowly read a book, <laughs> like you said, driving around slowly with the Sunday Sunday driver perk and stuff like that. That's cool. I like that. We're probably going to get some seven days to die going uh, sometime in October as well. So uh, make sure you get that installed. So today, 
today we're going to check out Grim Fandango Remastered, which is a game that I'm surprised it took me so long to finally decide to play. This, my friends, is made by... Hold on, let me just double check. I want to make sure that I, I got this right. You had to drive because she had trouble with the tank controls. We lost so many headlights. That's incredible. I love that. Hello, Luigi. This was made by Tim Schafer, pre-Double Fine. Yeah, exactly. I wanted to see I wanted to see if anybody else was involved from the original the original three. And I wanted to see the cast as well. For the voices. Do I recognize anybody? No. Nope. Not particularly. Um, but for those of you who don't know who Tim Schafer is, he is one of the three of the uh, one of the three head writers who wrote Monkey Island, which is, if not my favorite game of all time, very close to my favorite franchise series of all time. So the writing in Grim Fandango is supposed to be quite a lot like Monkey Island, which I'm very excited about. I'm excited to see if there's any Monkey Island references. I'm excited to get to know these characters. I'm here for it. <coughs> so we're gonna check it out. Because I felt like, you know, it's about bloody time. And this was, sorry about the loud. I wonder if Game Capture is actually gonna pick this up. I turned all this down earlier, but it doesn't seem to be working. Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. Oh, the game just... Take you now. Take me? Take me where? It just starts. No, no. There's no need to be nervous. Can't see it. <laughs> Hold on. Hmm. The game is just, like, happening. <laughs> and I'm not ready for it to happen. Hold on, we'll fix this. I'll turn everything down first off. Do a quick reset as well. Hopefully, the loud will be kind this time around. Prep your headphones. That's better. Still can't see the damn thing though. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Welcome, everybody. Grim Fandango. Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? You can see. Uh, good. No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Very good intimidating. design. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm it's Manny. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Uh-oh. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Very good. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite He's a taking it pretty well. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless... You were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better time. I've got the subtitles on fast mode, I mean, so I think that's probably why. Across the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or if you're gonna move myself goodbye, as well. You may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to Let's the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Oh. Well, his records are very good. The news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but... This I guy's me when I die. Up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. yeah -ha. Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. 
Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle would sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I <laughs> can't leave here until I've <laughs> worked a ride. off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Ooh, grumpy. Hey, Manny, the boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. I leave early all the time. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They hey. don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. Kind of look like the Grim Reaper, right? I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es esto? Alfo, you speak Spanish, right? So you're going to be our, uh, our intel on, uh, on the languages. <coughs> Text speed. Let's, um... I don't remember where it was before, but it's going pretty quickly. So let's let's just put it here. Let's see if that works. Okay, so we're the Grim Reaper. We're down on our luck. This thing just came into the into the tube. We can click to walk, double click to run. We can leave. We can look at things. What's this? It's a deck of cards. Nice. Take that. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. Um, it's a little bit loud, eh? These older games just, they just really like to have everything, everything loud. Audio's okay? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it then. All right, I got a deck of cards. We're doing good so far. What's over here? A deck of cards just wouldn't help there. I'll put the cards away. How do I do that? <laughs> put the cards away, Grim. There we go. Oh. I don't feel like pitching cards right now. That's not what I'm trying to get you to do. Okay, there we go. My boss is always giving me these motivational <laughs> sales books. They bought the farm, now sell them the cows. Stuff like that. Can I take them? Read them already. Didn't help. Nice, okay. Uh, has anybody played this game before? Tomcat, are you familiar with it at all, or uh, it's first for you? You've not. Oh, cool. All right. My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. Well, let's look at the thing that showed up. Looks like I got a message. Yeah, let's look at it. I'm a sucker for the point-and-click adventure games. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from. Office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Oh, Too good. many dead to assign specific cases. So all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. That guy's voice is a bit Whatever much at 10 a.m. in the morning. Whatever you say, F.A. Okay, what is this? My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Okay. All right. Can I scroll through items? Yes. This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. And we got an ace. I keep meaning to mark these cards. It's some sort of special work order. Okay, that's all we have right now. 10 a.m. in the morning? It is 10 a.m. in the morning. It's, it's very loud for 10 a.m. in the morning. That voice. Ah, the old files, the old clients, the glory days when people died with dignity and Domino Hurley didn't exist. Domino Hurley, okay, we'll have to keep that name in mind because Grim don't like him, whoever that is. Whoops. Let's get out of here. You only recognize Jim Ward so far? Who's Jim Ward? Oh. Oh, good. Okay. Well, let's try to remember that. Uh, do a quick save. 
I think a lot of older games assumed you'd be playing with speakers instead of headphones, so the volume is automatically a bit louder. Oh, cool. He just quirk. Oh, okay. Well, Captain Quirk. Whose office is this? Domino's door is locked. Probably scared I'll steal one of his files. Not a bad idea, actually. He has Doug Dimodome? Are you serious? That's pretty cool. Doug Doug Dimodome. This must be our receptionist. Let's uh, let's see what she's all about. It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. Oh, she's like that, hey? Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? Uh, what poisoning? The code three gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? I think the, 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 uh, the message in a bottle through the pipe system thing that they, they used to have, do they? People must still use that somewhere, right? I think that's the coolest thing in the world. Hold on, I gotta say <coughs> Ah, I think it's the coolest thing. Can you imagine sitting at your desk? Pneumatic tubes, that's what they're called. Can you imagine sitting at your desk and then just like, <laughs> and then boom, it's there. I think it's the coolest thing. Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Thank you, yeah. Uncle. I Appreciate only it. have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through uh, your thick right, skull okay. and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. Busy as ever, I see. I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Ouch. But I'm not your, uh, you're not my secretary, so you wouldn't really, would you? Well... I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. She's giving me mad Ghostbusters vibes. We got one. Can I go into this office? That'd be cool. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Okay, never mind. Let's go check out this gazpacho poisoning. We must have a bunch of new dead people that need to get to the afterlife, I guess. Who was that? Are these all just cars available for to take people to the afterlife? Are these just hearse hearses hung up on the It is. Wow. All right. Here's what I need. Wheels. Yeah, let's let's get ourselves a car. If you double click, you can run. It's handy. Hello? Hey, service. Hey, who the? Whoa, okay. Oh, sorry, sir. All right. I didn't expect sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. Look at his big mouth. <laughs> Holy crap. <coughs> nice hut. Yeah, I wonder how nice it would seem to you if you were trapped in it all day like me. His face glitches out a bit, doesn't it? He's kind of, I kind of love him. If you hate your job, why don't you quit? It's not just a job. It's what I was created to do. If I get any farther away from cars than this, I'll get sick and die. It's Jesus, like I'm not okay. happy unless I'm breathing in the thick, black, nauseating fumes. <sighs> hmm. Can't imagine. <laughs> As he's smoking, I like that. That's pretty good. <clears throat> I guess we should introduce ourselves, right? Uh, it's rude not to. I'm Calavera, Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Gladys. Okay. Hey, I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home. Yeah, wasn't that nice? That son of a bitch. He says as I pull out a vape. Voiced by Alan Blumenfield. Well done, Alan. Gladys. Gladys. 
Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an okay. elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Cars. To drive! Oh, yeah. Or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Fair enough. Okay, well, we need a new driver. Looks like I need a new driver. Oh, I, uh, he was Floyd the Barber I, uh, in Arrested Development. I would agree I with that. I don't that. remember any Floyd the Barber. It was probably a yes, one-off role. You do. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh no! Sorry. You're gonna Can't be able to get into rules. the car. Uh. I need you, though. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm... I'm... I'm too big. Well, shoot. Boyd from Psychonauts. Really? Cool. You played that game recently. Uh, You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey! That gives me an idea. Ooh, what's he I got? Could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'm, but I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, hey, hey. that's my line getting people to sign back in a snap yeah too small i'm not too big everything around here is just too small well, we're gonna help him make it feel better about himself we're gonna get him his dream job achievement unlocked beauty i've got to get this work order signed so this guy has clearly had a few roles then if that's the case in some it's a tool bigger cabinet. games can I open the tool cap? It's locked. Hey, Maddie! Oh, did hey, you get dude. that work order signed yet? No. Can't we just do it without? I uh, Tom Cat, that's totally cool. My job. I like hearing about this kind of stuff. If I lose my job! Hey, 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 don't worry. Just go on back to work. I'll, I'll get that work order signed. I'll take somehow. care of you, Gladys. Don't worry about it. Just trying to open your tool case here. I want to steal shit. Not that up. Okay, what else is there? Anything else around here? No. Let's head back. Let's see if we can talk to the boss, perhaps. Oh. Oh no, that's the same tool. Nope. Let's go. <laughs> let's leave. We gotta get out of this warehouse, man. Here's what I need: wheels. Can I just take them? Ooh, I might get hurt if I try to get one down by myself. Okay, fair enough. Let's go uh, get this work order st started. If that's something I can do. I don't think I could just drive, walk out through it's there. That'd locked. be too easy. But we gotta try, right? Can't go through on foot. People no. have tried, but they never came back. Oh, Jesus. Oh, we're gonna go to the land of the living. Okay, cool. This is uh, the land of the dead seems very corporate. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Hey, I need to talk to the boss. Can I speak to him? Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Well, that's okay, because I need to speak to Big Mr. Bo boss Man. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. Yes, we've said that already. Uh, if I really need the boss to sign this work order, I'll give it's it very a shot. Corp corpse spirit, exactly. Yeah, I like Mr. that. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Cal. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh yeah, like you're going anywhere. Well, that's the problem. I literally can't go anywhere until I can't find my driver. Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? 
Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. Okay. So we're trying to sell travel packages to basically become like employee of the month or whatever do a really good job and uh and then we get to leave the land of the dead which is cool i guess we get to pass through which is great well enough about me what's your job like like babysitting except i don't get to watch tv Ooh. What if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trapped soul and you don't even know it. Um, Tom Kane, you recognize? Tom Kane did Yoda, Akbar, Yularen, the narrator, and more in Clone Wars, the CG series. Oh, wow. They've done a lot then. Holy crap. And Quincy Sharp. In Arkham Asylum, wow. Uh, I've also installed Arkham Asylum, honestly, as a game that I'd like to probably try to play in October. So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. Why do some clients qualify for better I guess you're not allowed to packages. talk about your, they your old lives. life. Good tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. He'll be Raul and a couple of other minor characters. Okay, cool. If I really need the boss to sign this work order, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, bother him again. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Kel. Okay, that's not gonna work. Oh, we got an achievement for that. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, uh, is there anywhere else we can go? Back into our office, I guess? What's in the, what can I do in here? Can I go out the window? My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. Can I use the computer? I can, okay. Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him. Okay, is that all I can do? Can Not I take portable. it? portable. Shoot. Can I look up someone specifically? Here's Celso's file. Nope. All right. My message tube is full of nothing, as usual. Can I put something in the message tube? Hmm? What if I put this in here? I couldn't play this card there. No. I don't feel like pitching cards right now. Okay, do I have anything else in my inventory that I can use? I've got to get this work order signed. Yeah, we need that signed by the boss. Domino is voiced by Patrick Dollahan, who's done a bunch of games including Fallout 76, Red Dead Redemption, Call of Juarez, Command and Conquer, and Battlefield. Damn, okay, oh, that's also a pretty good career. What if I give her the work order? Well, that does that make sense? Hello, me again. What if we give this to her? I've got to get this work order signed. If I really need the boss to sign this work order, same thing. I'll give it a shot. Time. Okay. Mr. Copel. Didn't I? Yeah. All right. I must be missing something. Okay, give me give me two seconds. I need to just grab a a tissue. I'll be right back.
Gotta keep that nose clean. <clears throat> Tim Schafer's team always goes after fantastic voice actors. Yeah, oh man. They always hit the nail on the head. If they, if they don't get, you know, big celebrities. We haven't gone through this door. Uh, if they don't get like a big uh, name celebrity, they just get someone who perfectly matches like the role and stuff, which is great. Okay, there's a whole other section of this uh, this map that we didn't know about, or I didn't know about, so that's good. Wait, what's back here? Nothing, that's just the end of the hallway. Okay. What do we have out here? Ooh, a painting. Not that I have a choice, but I wonder if I'd be happier working on a ship. Then again, I'm so competitive, I wouldn't be able to relax until I was captain. Jeepers. Ah, the old head of the department. Way before my time, I heard he was a total slave driver. Yeah, really, though. Look at him. <coughs> it's terrifying. locked. Shoot. This building just has a bunch of locked doors. What is this? Let's see. Where am I on this? Don Copal, Domino Hurley, Junior Sales Associates. That better not be me. Mm -hmm. We're not Junior. Locked? It's locked. Yep. Okay. Let's go out through these doors and see if I can. We can. Oh, we're outside. Okay, this must still be the land of the dead though, right? Oh, I sold so many car travel packages when I was first starting out. When did I lose my edge? Is this our car? Can I use it? We can't operate cars. That's how they keep us from skipping town. Ah. That's how they keep them here. Petrified forest? Rubicava? I'm not walking on the free... The petrified <laughs> forest Rubicava. I'm not really that far away. <laughs> But to me, they might as well be on the other side of the world. I shouldn't even be standing here. He really doesn't want to be on the freeway, but... I want him to be, so... <laughs> he's gonna be. Oh, shit! There's a big old festival going on. Hello? Can we join in? Hello? That's oh, a... <laughs> it looks clown. like some sort of crafty mime. Hey, what's going down, clown? A hey, back off suit. I'm practicing. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Practicing what? Ring in your neck. What does it look like? Jesus. All right. Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's this tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? Could you teach me how to do that? Well, um, since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step? Which is? Blow! Wow, he's a jackass. I'm gonna shout bang at him. Bang! Ah! <laughs> another one. Lousy bony <laughs> fingers! I'm gonna break his balloon. Some festival, huh? Yeah. Yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. But you don't have any... Tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue, but that doesn't seem to shut you up now, does it? <laughs> That's Joe Nipote. Who I've never heard of. Okay. Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Can I have one? Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. Name one? A cat, a dingo, a dead worm, or Robert Frost? <laughs> what, uh, what do we want a balloon of? I feel like a dead worm is probably just gonna be <laughs> just a, a long, untwisted balloon. That's Joe Napote, who I've never heard of, but he was in Adam Ruins Everything video that I literally watched last night before bed. Wow, that's cool. That's fun. I want Robert Frost. Robert Frost. Trying to stump me, eh? 
Ta-da. I mean. All right. All right, now I've got a now I've got a balloon. A balloon animal of Robert Frost's face. Why not? Let's have a look at it. Here we go. This doesn't look anything like Robert Frost. <laughs> <coughs> Can I get another one? On a dead worm. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, jeez. What now? A dead worm. <coughs> Heck, that's easy. I want a dead worm just because, just for the memes. Oh, it's a... Uh, There's no limit on those. Not even inflated. Incredible. It's Mimi. It's a deflated balloon. It's a deflated balloon. Excellent. Okay, we've got a deflated balloon now. I don't know if that's good, but I'm glad I have it. Those crates are completely blocking the sidewalk. What if there were a fire? Yeah, I can't get to the festival. I want to join in on the festival. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything over here. Oh, wait. Bread? The bread of the dead. Great. Grab some. Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. Pan de muertos. Yeah, grab it. Look, I've got a big, large bread. I'm very happy about it. Terry, what's up? Hello. I get crumbs all over. Put your bread in your suit. See, he's just like he's just like Guybrush Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood stores all of his items in his pants. He stores all of his items in his uh, in his jacket pocket, in his uh, suit jacket. Can I go down this alley, perhaps? Yes. Ooh, spooky. What is this? I don't like the way that eye is looking at me. I don't either. The other ones don't have gems in them. Can I take not that? Not picking that up. Why not? Hello? Hello? Can I stab it with my scythe? Yo, yeah. Look at that. Oh, man. Give me one of those. I don't want to mess up my blade. Terry, how you doing? How's your day been? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for coming to say hi. Look at how cool that scythe is. Joe Napote did the voice of one of the ghostly trio in Casper, really? Oh, wait a minute, what is this? Someone trying to escape the building? It looks like a rope, but it's really just a bunch of cheap ties tied together. Well, yeah, but it's still a rope. Let's, can we go up? What on earth is this all about? Someone trying to escape our office building? You saw a hot boy yesterday? I don't believe it. They're not real. <laughs> Gross. What, does this lead to my boss's office? Oh no, this is this is the guy next to me. This is the other guy's office. Just thinking about Don's file system <laughs> gives me a cold chill. So did, did Don skip out? This place is a mess. It is a mess. I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. Hmm. They're hard to come by, but you saw two. You saw two. Oh my goodness. That's like, um, that's, uh, that's like finding like a unicorn in the wild, but you found two. Holy moly. It must have been pretty, pretty cool. It must have been pretty jazzy. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. So I guess he skipped out on work. I think that's what that's implying. Oh. Uh, oh shit, this is our boss's room. Okay. This is his intercom. Okay, so we can just make it so that it's uh, his I'll automatic reply. Our response here. Ah, oh, great, Dave. Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. Excellent. Now we can get her to sign the work order for us. Yes. Must have seen me out picking up KFC. Oh, there you go. Not Ooh, look. picking that up. It's Franklin. Look. Oh, it's Franklin. Franklin's in a video game. 
Look! He's right there! Look, Franklin! It's you! How exciting. Love that. I'd love to see Franklin. Not picking that up. <clears throat> it's him. It's literally him in the game. He's just hopping about, having a great time. You love to see it. Okay. Uh, good. Let's uh, let's go get that work order filled out, and then we can get out of here. I figured something out in a point-and-click game, all on my own, without any previous knowledge. I'm <laughs> I'm excited. There we go. All right, Eva. I need you to sign this thing for me, and I need you to not ask any questions about it. <clears throat> hey, it's me again. Eva, I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, great, Eva. Just sign it yourself, will you? <laughs> See, we did it. That's gonna let us get in a car. You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. He's not even in there. He left. Eva, I'm he skipped out on work. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. As she lights up a cigarette, really though. Oh, how smooth is that? Terry, I, I didn't know what to play either. That's uh, that's kind of why we're playing this now. Um, what are your options? What do you have? What's available for you? Hey, I look good in this, don't I? <laughs> yeah, well, they say black is slimming. I'm driving. I mean, we did tell him that it wasn't him. That's too big. It's the car that's too small. <laughs> He's just having a good time driving the car for the first time. I could have walked faster than this. Uh, yeah, his lips. Whoa, okay. Hello? Oh, what on earth? Is this the land of the living? Domino. This is... Ooh, the living still give me the creeps. Yeah, really, though. God, oh, ugh. This is weird. Truth be told, I'd rather be setting this milkshake soul free. We'll take it. Can't reap the milkshake. Can only smell it. Can we reap the burger? I have to say, this food looks pretty good. Take it. In this world, all I can do is look, smell, and reap. Okay, well, someone died because of the food poisoning. Let's, uh, let's let him I out. I can't carry the whole package out of here. He's got to shuffle off his mortal coil. Then we can split. Oh, okay. Well, I can't use my bare hands. I'm a professional. We'll reap him then. There we go. Open him up. Yeah, the living is not, not super great, are they? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that one. Nice bathroom. Oh, thank you. It's not a bathrobe. But we offer several travel package upgrades if you care to. Who's? Cut the, yeah, I want something cheap where I can get some rest. Now that's it. Murray? Ay ay ay. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster if you wanted. Yeah yeah, whatever. Oh yeah, slam the front into the weeds, tub the rear end. Two blowers popping out of the hood. I think he, I think he likes cards. Away, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything. His better. eyes are fantastic. But yeah, the animations are really good, actually. I gotta say. Mug. No, wait. Can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno. But my boss is a real hard ass. Oh. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle wavers like this jolly boy working for me. 
Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. Hey. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make I like his sales he's a skull, but clients. he's got hair. <laughs> he's got hey, a hair tuft. Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a Oh shit, we're gonna get fired. Comes in, you're out. Oh out shit, we're gonna get fired. No job. No way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill. We're basically Who's Stan. Scumbag. Why I on us? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take one. We need to find a good, rich, dead guy to, uh, to, uh, get an account for so we can try to make some money. It's my boss's secretary. It's my Please boss's don't whipping boy. Say that Man. again. You know, Copal's not really in his office. Sweetheart, I know what you're up to. Huh? You're trying to get me away from my desk so you can link all my paper clips together again. Grow up, darling. I mean, that does sound pretty great. Hey, you missed a great poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino came back from there with a nun. Equally, I got a tiny little man with a mean temper and no commission. Well, at least you don't work for one. Right, we're not trying to find we're not trying to find rich employees. We're trying to find good people. Now I don't know about a nun, <laughs> but uh, that's where we need to. That's what we need to try to find. Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh man, did I come in on Saturday again? It's the Day of the Dead. Oh, Everybody's the festival, back right. in the land of the living, visiting their families like we should be. Wait, why aren't we there? Why aren't you visiting your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I want to see. And you don't want Domino here alone getting all the good leads. That too. Okay. So, you going to the Christmas party? After the spectacle you made of yourself last year? I wouldn't miss it for the world. All right. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was <laughs> never a, your secretary. What a weird thing to just say out of now. nowhere. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. Okay. That scumbag voiced Papa Smurf in all the recent Smurf games. Well, oh, wow. I gotta go hit the bricks. The, uh, the movie games, I guess? Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Okay. Oh, we can go in here now. Whoever, uh... Whoever owns that office is back. Hello? Hey, hello. It's Bugsy. I don't know what his name is. It's Domino Hurley, the sweatiest man in the office. You gotta sweat the cell, Callie, and you know it. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Oh, hey, shit. Hey, Callie, how you doing? So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. Oh, yeah? What's that now? For trains. You got a nun? Hail oh. Mary. <laughs> and you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo-choo, <laughs> little buddy. Say, how'd you score? Uh, I got a nun. I got two nuns. I got a mean midget. <laughs> I just said pearls. <laughs> I got two nuns, actually. Hey, yeah. that reminds me of this really <laughs> funny joke. Heard it. Uh, I want to ask you something. Uh, I want to punch you in the mouth. See ya in limbo. <laughs> I want to ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. Uh, can I have one of your clients? Why do you get all the good clients? You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No, thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. Oh. I don't want to just ask him for his client, but... Can I have one of your clients? Sure, Cal. Just as soon as I get one I think you could handle. I can handle anything you got, especially if that's your best right jab. Okay. 
What did you do to get this job? You mean, what's my secret to success? No, I mean, how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did the you DOD. commit, and how long are you going to have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you, but I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. Okay, so if you if you commit a sin, you uh, you're tasked to sell afterlife travel packages <laughs> until you work off your uh, your time. I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh no, not the Christmas party all over again. Hey, good writing, see. What happened at the Christmas party? Blacked out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. I don't like this guy. I want to tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. Uh, I think he's up to something. I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> I bet he's got some sort of connection in the in the <clears throat> in the living world where he's having people killed or something. You know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. Yeah, well, I want my office back. Don't worry, you'll have years and years to enjoy it after I get promoted out and you're still here. He's a jackass. I think we should team up. I don't want to team up with this guy. Oh, Manny, I, I would, but I'm too intimidated. I could never be partners with someone who was so much more of a man than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your wife. Well, you sound pretty out oh of breath. Oh, my God. So I'm going to blow. Always a pleasure, Cal. God, they don't like each other at all. He does have a very nice office, though. Holy moly. All right. Well, what's this? That's some premium-looking scotch. That's some, Manny. Just so you don't forget what premium tastes like. Yeah, let's have some. <laughs> Screw it. Have some more. <laughs> Have some more. One more. Groovy. Now we're wasted. Uh, why is his head so long? That's a good question. I think Don would call the company shrink if I left through the window. If, um, I wonder if we'll get to see what his head looks like beforehand. Maybe that was his sin. Maybe his sin was he stretched his head too far. Hey, Dom, what's your screensaver password? Get away from my computer, Manny. Uh, no. Hey, Dom, what's your screens? Get away. Not portable. Okay, so we can't use his computer. I think Dom, no messages in Dom's fancy red tube. Okay, so not much, not much more access to anything, Look really. at all the diplomas. You have to have the proper attitude to get diplomas like those, Manny. Really? I thought you just had to have the proper postage. Ooh, zing. Didn't earn them, just bought them? That's no good. All right. <clears throat> the worst of sins, yeah, stretching your own head. If you guys, if you guys ended up in the afterlife, right? And it was kind of like this. What, uh, what kind of travel package would you go for? This end cabin is where I hang my cloak. BRB, no sweat, dude. Appreciate it. I don't really know what to do now. I need to get a new client. I've got a balloon, a deflated balloon, and I've got a piece of bread. <laughs> don't really have much. Hmm. You missed that part? What's that? What's, uh, what's what part? My boss is always giving me these motivational sales books. They bought the farm, now sell them the cows. Right, Stuff okay. like that. I don't think there's much else we can do in here. Let's go back downstairs, maybe? Talk to Glottis, whatever his name was. Got Goddess. Oh, the travel pack? Uh, so when you die, you get, you get like, the, the shitty travel pack where you're, like, stuck in a box and shipped off to, to the afterlife. Or if you were a really, really good person in life, you get, uh, you know, you get the fancy airplane with, like, first class. 
and then there's everything in between, right? So you can, you can, if you are an all right person, you can get like the train. Maybe you can get like the bus. There are lights for wash, rinse, wax, and land of the living, depending on your destination. Oh, wow. <laughs> to get back to the land of the living, you go through the, the car wash. The driver demons operate this somehow, and the company won't tell a salesman how it works. Gotta keep us down somehow. You think I'd get an airplane? There's no heckin' way, man. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be locked up in a box. Goddess, you here? You here, dude? It's locked. This sign says, I'm at the junkyard. Woo! <laughs> okay, fair enough. He's at the junkyard. Who's afraid of a little rusty water? Nobody. That doesn't sound right. Can I open this it's now? It's a tool cabinet. It's locked. Shit. Not picking that up. No one in there. Can I go in? It's locked. Damn it. Okay. <clears throat> well, maybe we should try to make our way to the junkyard, wherever that is. Or check out the festival again. Sweetest boy. I'm sure there are sweeter boys than me. There's got to be sweeter boys. Much sweeter fellas. Come on, man. Let's, let's, let's make some progress here. Never give oh, Jesus! <sighs> you and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. I don't even know who you are. I bet he's the guy that operates the, the, tube, the tube system in this place. Can we go fuck it up somehow? <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, I was right. I don't think this is your traditional tube though. Warning. Fire system. Do not touch. Oh, we're having that. Thank you. <laughs> I'm taking everything I can. What is this? It's the sophisticated and delicate hub of all communications here in the Department of Death. Department of Death, that's what the DOD stands for, Groovy. Not picking that up. As a rule, I never touch anything more sophisticated <laughs> and delicate than myself. Fair enough. Yeah, that was rude, wasn't it? I'm not, not, a, not a huge fan of that guy. <laughs> that wheel should open it. Not picking that up. The wheel won't turn and the door won't budge. Wheel won't turn and the door won't budge. All right, well, I don't really need to get in there right now, I don't think. I don't really think I have anything that can help me open a door either. Unless this giant croissant is going to help me. Playing cards. Nah. All right, we have access to this area now, though. And if we can find someone that, like, we can grease up the wheel a little bit. You know, get things nice and greasy, all lubed up. That might help out. It's a baguette. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why. Is it croissant? Croissant? We, there's nothing really over this way. I'm not walking on the freeway. He I shouldn't even be standing here. He doesn't even... He doesn't like walking on the freeway. Great. I'm not walking on the freeway. I shouldn't even be standing here. All right, can we... Do we have access to the festival at all yet? Or is it just the same as earlier? Hey, Dick. How you doing? He definitely died on the freeway? He probably did, yeah. That I might have, have something to, to do with it. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. You too? I can't get to the festival this way. Look at all the little Franklins up here on the on the roof. Maybe I missed something uh, in the boss's office. Let me see. Let's head back up. 
We saw our boss earlier. He's just not in his office. Can we like use this ladder? No? Oh shit, the door window's closed. It's locked. It's locked. Shit. Ooh, we can go around this way though. The drapes are drawn. Dom must be in there napping. No use for it. Can I open that? Not picking that up. Okay. The drapes are drawn. Dom must be in there napping. Okay, I don't care if he's napping. I want to wake him up. No, Domino's in there. Oh, wait, what? Domino's in there. Really? Not while Domino's in there. Not picking that up. Well, I want to look in. Use that. Smash the window. That's not on fire. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, do we have like anything that can help us look? I love the sound effects. God, not really. Uh, Domino's in there. Yeah, Domino's in there. Great, groovy. What does that do for us? Is Domino in our office right now? Is that is that what I'm getting here? Should we hurry back? Let's hurry back. Just on the off chance that that's what, what's going on. I don't really have any other idea of what to do. this way just shows us the other right okay we don't really have much to work with as of currently is he in my office no he's in his own office he's not napping Hmm. Well, maybe we can go see the boss now. Maybe the boss is actually in his room. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Shit. Okay, well, do you have anything to tell me? Any good gossip? Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Good. Por favor, tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, Bayessa. Bayessa. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. Well, well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? Just one more question about just my gonna job. gonna exhaust the Manny, dialogue here, you I know think. what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a well, lot of filing to, to, to do. Right. I do watch you. Okay. What if we... Huh. I really don't know what to do. Can we go talk to Dom again? Hello? Hey, Hurl. Yeah. Well, you sound pretty out of breath, so I'm gonna blow. Always a pleasure, Cal. Okay, no. Can't speak to him either. Alrighty then. Uh, alcohol, pamphlets. I think Dom would call the company shrink if I left through the window. Yeah, that's fair. No messages in Dom's fancy red tube. Can we open the tube? Not picking that up. He's got a lock on it. I can't He's... believe he doesn't trust me. He's got it locked. All right, well, I was going to fill it with stuff at balloons or something, but uh, he doesn't trust me, so fair enough. Very fair. All right, let's get out of here. Um, nothing in my office, nothing in... There's nothing up here. I'm missing... I'm, I've got to be missing something. Back down to the garage, I guess, just to have a look around. The music is great. The wah-wahs and stuff. Wah-wah. This is locked. It's locked. Gladys left, so I'm not really gonna 
I can't go out through there without him. Here's what I need. Wheels. Yeah, but our driver's gone. It's locked. What well, can I can I fill up a balloon with water, perhaps? Water balloon? That might be fun. I don't know if it's gonna do anything, but it might be fun. That's not what balloons are for. What do you mean? <laughs> That's sometimes what balloons are for. It's a tool cabinet. It is. Not picking that up. It's locked. And it's locked, okay. It's a tool cabinet. Oh. It's locked. Oh shit, that one was locked too. Uh my god, I I have no idea what to do. Might have to get a walkthrough up. <clears throat> Just to see where we need to go next. Or else we'll be here for 17 hours just trying to figure out what to do with the balloon. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, I'm using ad blocker. No, I will not turn it off. Thank you, Euro Gamer. GN won't let me have an ad blocker as well. Good lord, come on, just just give me a walk through here. Um walk through. I'm uh, I'm very confused at how these walkthroughs seem to work. Hold on, I'll find it. Hints and tips. See, that's what I'd like. I'd like some hints and tips. I don't need to know exactly what's going on here. The audio is just not having a good time. Tomcat, what's up? Welcome back. Uh, just looking for a walkthrough. Whoa. You already have one open? Groovy. What you trying to do? Uh, I have no idea. We just got access to the... Um, to the tube system of the building. Um, and I'm not entirely sure what to do with that information. There was a jackass that came out and said uh, that nobody respects what he does, blah, 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 blah. And I feel like I'm supposed to do something with the tube system, but the door to the tube system was locked, so I couldn't really. I'll show you. In here. This is tube system. It's the sophisticated and delicate hub of all communications here in the Department of Death. Need to chat with the clown again, really? Have a chit chat with the clown then, I guess. Let's go see what he's up to. He only had like the, the balloon dialogue. Do I ask, do I need another balloon? You need a cat and two worms, really. Okay. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, oh, jeez. What now? <laughs> Okay. I'm curious to see if you can make no a cat. No problem. Ta-da! That's not bad. I want another one. Another worm, please. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, oh, jeez. What now? Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. The cat is now named Guybrush? I'm here for it. Pretty good name. Relevant to this uh, this game as well. 
How was your chicken? Was it good? Now what the heck are we supposed to do with the balloons? What if I, what if I rub the cat balloon up against this? He literally rubbed it. He literally rubbed it. That's hilarious. Okay, the dead worm? That's not what balloons are for. Yeah, fair enough. I don't know how to get in here. The wheel won't turn and the door won't budge. Can't get into that room now. No room for that. Uh, what about the, what about the croissant? That wouldn't be a very good use of this special ceremonial bread. The baguette. Can I get at the hoses from outside the room? The hoses. Um, I can access my tube in my bedroom um no i don't i don't seem to be able to access anything here no oh wait a minute hold on hold, hold on this gives us yeah this gives us that red tube looks familiar that goes to manny's office or that goes to jackass's office can we send him a cat Where's the cat? There it is. Nope. Dead worm? That's not what balloons are for. No, he really doesn't That's like not what balloons are for. using balloons in the inappropriate I ways. I the lungs for it. Can't reach. Not picking that up. Can I scythe the red too, perhaps? No. No, he doesn't want to do that. Okay, uh... <sighs> Goodness, I have no idea what I'm doing. These, these click, click, click effect. These click and point and click games. Rough sometimes. The bread? We, let's try the bread. The baguette. Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. That wouldn't be a very good use of this special ceremonial bread. Enter the new room on the lobby level, then use one of your worm balloons on the red hose. Next, use the other worm on the blue hose. I don't even see a blue hose. What's going on here? Can I, like, walk around it a bit more? I think that's the other end of Domino's message tube. If I could just get in there. It is the other end of Domino's, Domino's message too, but I can't get in there. Hmm. And he does not want to use the, the balloon on that. That's not what balloons are for. Nope. Wait a minute. I don't want you to go there. I want you to look at it. Manny, come on. Hmm. Uh. Just cover it in foam. That's not on fire. It should, it could be. I don't even see like a blue tube in there. Does the walk does the walkthrough say anything else? Cause there's no blue tube. There's no YouTube. There's no blue tube. There's no red tube. 
Is there a room with two chemicals? Oh, in here, right, yeah, yeah, we, we didn't have access to this before. Okay, it's this room. All right, all right, I totally forgot that this room existed. For those who enjoy no-hassle travel. Okay, now we're onto something. You and one of these must have picked them up already. All right, now we've got a red tube and a blue tube. Okay, cool. All right, we use this on the blue tube, right? The red tube. Groovy. Um, and then, and then on the blue tube as well. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, because these two chemicals, when combined, make like a, a like a foam that'll keep things in place. So I'm assuming we're going to try to fill the tubing system with this stuff, which is probably a good idea. All right, let's see. Let's see if this works. I don't really want to do that. Oh, fair enough. Okay, that's not what we need to do. Uh, maybe we... Yeah, I was just about to say, maybe we just put it in, in our tubing system. Because we do have access to our own tube. Don't tell the secretary what we're doing. She doesn't need to know. What is that horrible squeaking noise you're making? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. I'm not entirely sure what this is going to do. <laughs> Look out below. There we go. And then we put the other one in, and then it should freeze that system, right? You would think. I don't like how it wiggles a little bit before it goes in. <laughs> there we go. Now that dude's really going to be mad at us. That doesn't sound good. Close that. So it doesn't look like we did anything. Thank you for the quotes. Appreciate it. I did indeed say that. Server's down again. What else is new? Okay, so this sort of thing happens a lot. All right. Groovy. I'm really excited to use that bread for something. I want to know what the bread is for. <laughs> I want to smack someone with a baguette. Oh. How's it going? Hi. I'm not getting any messages. Is the server down? This is their idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they like that. Oh, boy. Can I squeeze in there just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. No one's allowed in here who ain't me. But but I'd like to get in there. We don't know his name. He's, he's just really mad. What's so special about you? I, sir, am an elemental spirit summoned from the land of the dead itself. Yeah, yeah, let me guess. You were given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Fixing pneumatic tube switchers. No, I was created to run the elevators, mm. but they put in those dang motion detectors and put me out of work. Fair. Okay. Who would do a terrible thing? Can like we frame this? Domino? That'd be those sick. Punks in the mail room. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job, and they're right. Okay. Just curious. How'd you get in there? I squeezed out one of these tubes oh, like God. a pixie. He's a sarcastic How do you jackass. Think I got in here? Through the door, just like you. So you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. So it's down. So how long is it going to be down? With a job like this, <laughs> you can never tell. Probably hours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. 
You know, I really think it's clean enough. Oh, it's clean enough to run all right. I'm just fiddling around to be safe. You know, gotta cover my ass. Yes, you do. Say, uh, Chatty Cathy. I got yes, a lot of me. tubes to flush Can I, here. I, I want to hey, lock him in there. Me too. I'll let you go. Wait a minute, can I... What is happening? Oh, oh, not again. Oh, he's on fire. I've got an extinguisher, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. You tried to blow this joint sky high? That's a Excuse magnesium me? compound fire extinguisher. Spray that on this packing foam, and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here. What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? Yeah, really. I though. guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste. Okay, so am I gonna go put? Hold on, let's lock him in there, and then, and then. I've just locked an open door. <laughs> Strange, <laughs> yet symbolically compelling. <laughs> Good. Can we close this? I want to close the door, and lock him in, and then it can blow it up. That's my plan. Not picking that up. Turn the bolt again. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna blow this guy up. Is my plan. I'm gonna use the fire extinguisher to blow him up. That's not on fire. Keep it like that? What is that gonna do? Okay, let's, let's, won't budge. let's just go put, let's try, let's try to put the fire extinguisher in our, uh, in our thing. Good enough for government. Work. Oh wait, no, I get it. He's gonna try to close it and it's gonna stay open, right. I didn't realize he was gonna come out. Makes sense. Cool. So now we have access to this tube system. I kind of wanted to blow it up, but that's okay. What do we have here? It's locked. Not picking that up. That red tube looks familiar. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Uh, can we just send him the bread? That wouldn't be a very good use of this special ceremonial bread. Fair enough. Um, the cat. <laughs> he literally just rubs it up against it. I love that. That's gonna come into play at some point. We're gonna need like static electricity or something. Let's see. Have I picked up a card by any chance? I did. Ah. I see, I see. Hmm. Too much air pressure. Okay, what about the whole deck of cards? Okay, just okay. We need mm, to. Too much air pressure. Maybe the card needs a hole in it. If the card needs a hole in it. No. No, he doesn't want to take out his scythe. Uh, card needs a hole in it. This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I, and I've got fewer suits. This deck of cards is a little frick. Then again, so am I. Okay, what? I've got fewer suits. What can I use to make a hole in a card that I've seen? Ever seen a deck of cards from a, a casino? No, I've not. I've never been to a casino. So that room that has a lot of noise going on in it. Uh. Before they release the deck, they mark it. What's the easiest way you can think of doing that? To, uh, the secretary, maybe? She's got pens, right? Maybe I can 
get her autograph. What's on our desk there? Pens, newspapers. Thanks, but I got solitaire on the computer, Manny. Oh, a hole punch. Oh, Jesus, I didn't even see that. Manny, what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. Oh, okay. All right. I didn't know that that was a thing. All right. That'll be plenty of, uh, of not too much of a question. I card there. I got you. I got you. God, trying to play these games these days is 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 a bit rough sometimes. The puzzles are not the most intuitive. Okay, so this should block all of the clients going to Domino. Nice. Reset is cool, Mark. Client number 9308, blah, blah, blah. Died of chicken pox, time of death, yada, yada, yada. Aha, positive attributes. Volunteered time reading stories to dying children. Nice. That's good. That's really good. I think you're it, Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. Did we take the thing? We must have taken it, right? Gladys, are you loco? What got into you? Oh my god. That was a company car. Oh yeah. And it's even better company now. I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We got, um... Ghost Rider up in here all of a sudden. Suck it, Domino. God, he's a... He likes his cars. You're not the nurse? Oh! No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, oh. but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No. It's a lady. But there's still a chance you could save me. <gasps> That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calavera. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first class <laughs> And ticket in your file. Team. He's a speed demon. Oh, yeah, there you go. That, that makes sense. Yeah. What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. Um... Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. But, okay, fair enough. Did you kill much when you were alive? Are you a big shoplifter and mean to animals? Mean to animals? Oh, no, I love animals. Once, good. when I was That's volunteering good. at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. Uh... Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh -oh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh-huh. Okay. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. <laughs> Very little. I love that. You used to volunteer at an animal shelter. Nice, cool. Well, you and Mrs. Calavera have something in common. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. <laughs> Litter? Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calavera, there's no ring on my finger. Ooh. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Work with me, Meche. Give me Meche. some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the oh. store. <laughs> oh, I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Are you sure okay. you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Um. Sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. Excuse me, but I have to go straight and okay. mess out. <laughs> I Sorry don't want to see her so skin. Trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please call me Manny. All right, so she's supposed to have a spotless record, but for some reason she's not el my eligible. My computer gives me instant access to our database of dead beats. Which doesn't make any sense, so we got to figure out why. I just don't understand it. Why can't I find anything good for Mechi? Someone blocking my computer? 
We gotta get her a good afterlife, man. She volunteered at like animal shelters. I'm and sorry stuff. I let you down, Manny. That's okay. I'll get it figured out. Is Domino there? Domino's door is locked. Nope. Hey. Oh God. Hey, funny bones in my office now. You vandalized company property. In oh God, they found out immediately. Jesus. Okay. So you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road. Is that what happened? In order to steal a client from her legitimate agent. There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize I bet she's to gone. yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, I bet she's please. left. She's gone. She left about 15 yep. minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine. Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients the domino. There was nothing we could do. That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld alone and unprotected. Oh, good. This is her reward uh. after a lifetime of hardship and public service. Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman. Oh my goodness. That commission he didn't deserve. This is getting heavy. Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Excuse Someone's me. Someone's going to take the fall for this Calavera, and it ain't going to be me. He just lock us in the in the men's bathroom? He did. It looks like it dispenses something called Philodent. Okay. I don't see anyone out there. Oh, we're locked in uh, Goddess's uh, Goddess's spot. Okay, I see. Hello. Hey, is anybody out there? Let me out. Who's that? So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? Who is that? Who's hello? Who's out there? I'm you, or rather, I was you years ago. Ex yeah, well, I'm me now. So get lost. Excuse me. Get cracked, Flunky. <laughs> I'm thinking about getting out and getting even. That's it. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. I don't want to do that. The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Young man, you are an enemy of the Department of Death. Yes, I am. Oh. Welcome to the club. Salvador Limones and guests. Oh, hello. Where are you taking me? To the headquarters of the LSA. LSA? What is happening? The Lost Souls Alliance. Who is this guy? We're I like his mustache. Group, We're always looking for new soldiers. You got a nice stash, dude. For a dead guy. To do what exactly? We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny. I was once a reaper. Oh. Yourself, Manny. She works down here too. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I that would make sense. Robbing the poor. That would make sense as to why the uh, that lovely woman. Leaving them no option. Didn't have the option trail of tears to uh, get on the train. And alone, like babies, Manuel. Like babies. Like babies, What's Manuel. Your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you Agent Calavera? Ooh, Manuel, I like that. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Well, you won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. So, which means the lips and stuff, the lip movements and animation is really good, I gotta say. When you're ready to join the cause, man, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. Okay, groovy. Well, first off, we've got to ch chat with her because she's been a double agent this whole time. So you're not really a secretary. I'm a spy, Manny. Well, that's the last time we use that temp agency. <laughs> Any messages for me? Any messages for me? Yes. Join or die. But I'm already... Again. Okay. Um, 
Doesn't Kapal wonder where you are? Don and Domino are both locked up in Don's office with some bigwig from downtown. Some fatty in a fez. Hmm. Fezes Who is are the cool. Fat man, I wonder. And how does he fit into this sinister puzzle? Okay, just, just... How long have you been a spy? Salvador recruited me about a year ago. I couldn't resist him. He's just so noble. Okay, calm down. What are you working on there? I'm trying to get this radio working so we can use it in the field. But it looks pretty hopeless. Same. Salvador's right. We need good old-fashioned homing pigeons to communicate with our field agents. You have field agents? No, it's just Sal and me right now. But someday, Manny. Okay, fair enough. Ava, you gotta get me out of town. They're gonna sprout me. You can't leave, Manny. We need access to the DOD computer network if we're ever gonna find out what's going on. And we can't access without a salesman like you. Okay. The computer IDs you when you log on. How does it do that? Fingerprints? I don't have any. Your teeth, Manny. Ah. Haven't you ever noticed your computer scanning your teeth when you log on? I thought that was just a power search. We need teeth. your teeth, Manny. We can't let you go. Sorry. So, you won't help me out of here. Sorry. I'll help you out, but not your teeth. Think it over. <laughs> well, I want to keep my teeth, I think. Just for now. What's this all about? It's a slide projector. Wait, are the pigeons fake? Manuel, I was looking at that. Oh, I'm sorry. <coughs> I want to see the birds. Is is Franklin fake? Where does this go? To a secret tunnel out of the city. But it opens for members of the LSA. Yeah, only. there they are. Look. Look at the birds. I don't get it. Nor do I, Manuel. Not yet. Okay. This computer shut off. We salvaged that unit when the company threw it away. But we have yet to get it working. When we do, we'll need you to get us into the system. I'll be long gone before then. We'll see, Manuel. We'll see, Manuel. We'll see. Okay. Uh, let's just check with uh, Salvador. Is that his name? Sal? Okay, I'm in. What do I have to do? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents okay, are too good. valuable I don't want to, to be risk a messenger. that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. Right, okay, and that's what the, those are the pigeons are about. If I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No, I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. Okay. The voice actor's name is also Sal, interestingly. Oh, interesting. Okay. Do you know something I don't know? Have you ever wondered why your clients, even your best clients, never seem to qualify for the packages you know they deserve? Yes, my last client in particular, Mechi. Well, Mechi. they all did qualify, Manuel. Especially her, but somehow somebody with access to the files has stolen their just rewards. Their sweet hereafter. It's gotta be Domino, their right? Tickets on the number nine. But it's gotta be Domino, that sneaky bugger. What would they do with the tickets? A ticket on the number nine is like a leaf of gold, Manuel. So Especially the train is like the nicest way to get to the afterlife. That makes record. sense. record. Someone is profiting here from those that would buy their way into heaven. Yeah, it's just. But uh, money's not important here. We all just want out. You want to get out, Manuel. And so do I someday. But for some people, this world is all there is. They have decided to seek pleasure and happiness here we in the We gotta go get some undead eggs, I think. And for that, you need money. You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. <laughs> now that's all the briefing you need, soldier. Okay. Viva la revolucion! Viva la revolucion! Okay, let's go up to the roof again, I guess. Oh, the uh, this place is open. Is this just a quick way to get in and out? Yes. Okay, neat. Am I just allowed back into the office? That's not gonna be. I can't just walk right back into the front door, right? No, there's no way. Let's uh, let's go back up to the roof. See if we can grab one of these pigeons. See if they've got any eggs going. See if uh, Franklin's been a daddy or mommy. Uh, now, interestingly enough, I don't see any eggs anywhere. Are they in there now? The big wig? Hmm. Dom's office is empty. Uh-huh. 
There's nobody in Domino's office. He's, yeah. Who are we going in? Oh shit. Oh shit. We sneaking in. Hello? I'm gonna try to guess his password. Okay. Nope. It's not Golden Boy. Try another one. I'm gonna try to guess his password. Does he try the same thing every time? And it's not Mr. D either. Mr. D. Desk drawers? I don't have desk drawers. Open. What the? What do we have? There's something glowing in there. Grab it. It looks like a glowing hunk of coral. Coral? No, don't leave. No, no. Back in. <laughs> I accidentally clicked somewhere and then you're done for. I want to see what this coral's all about. Congratulations, Domino, on your new job. Hector. Oh, it's like a trophy. Okay. Coral! I said stay back with the others while I finish this bitch like you finished your mother. You ain't a danger to me, Walt. It's knock all you want. I'll watch you get eaten on my fucking front lawn. What a jock. Have a go. Not bad. Oh, what's that? Do it again. Yeah, what's this? Do it again. Hey. It's Domino's mouthpiece. Huh. Ugh, Domino had this in his mouth. Yeah, I don't really want that, but it's ours now. It's Domino's mouthpiece. Why am I carrying this around? I'm not entirely sure. But it's fine. <laughs> we'll worry about that later. Okay, no eggs in here. I will have another drink, though. Why not? Nothing else in there. Close that before we leave. How could Domino be the sweatiest salesman in the building when they don't have skin? Ah, uh, fair enough. Good, uh, good observe. Good observement. Good, good. The drapes are drawn. Dom and Dom must still be in there. You must be able to see through that crack, though, right? Can we see through this one? It's locked. Jeez. All right, maybe we need to go check out the f festival again. Let's try that. I don't think I can go back into the building. I kind of want to see what happens if we try to go back into the building. <laughs> I don't think they'll be too pleased with us. But let's give it a go. Just curious. Just, just curious. I'm not going in there. They still think I'm locked up. Hopefully. Okay, yeah. He just won't let us. The next step is one of those leaps of faith. Just kind of... You'll never guess it kind of thing, or... Or is it actually a leap of faith? Do I need to actually jump over this crack in the in the roof? Gonna try to get up to the pigeons, right? Yeah. There's a gap, yep. You have a rope and some new items. Okay, do I have a rope? This rope, I guess. Okay, let's rub them rub some things together. I guess I want to get up to this ladder, right? Uh yeah, can I can I pick up the rope? I can, okay. Uh, no, okay. What if we use the... That weird statue thing that we found as like an anchor. I bet that would work, right? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Use it as like a 
uh, a hook shot. I wonder if that's how Domino meant it to be used. Maybe not, but I figured that out, so I'm going for it. Get that right here. Yeah. Nailed it. A grapnel. There you go. We'll grapple our way up to the ladder. Heck yeah. All right. Sorry, Franklin. I'm coming for your babies. <coughs> Ooh. All right. We've got access to the roof now, and there's a lot of Franklins over there. Holy moly. Are there eggs? We need those. Franklin, I'm going to come take your eggs if that's okay. I've got a feeling this isn't going to be as easy as it should be. Are they all going to peck at me? Are they going to just, like, protect the eggs so I can't get at them? Horror music like is... Hey! Oh, yeah. The horror music is playing. Oh, the bread! We can use the bread! Give the bread to the birds. Here you go, boys. If I just hand it to them, I'm liable to lose a finger or two. Fair. Okay, put it in here. Put it in this thing. Yeah! Now they can come over here and I can grab the eggs, right? On over, Franklin. Watch it! Ah! Get back off, birds! Dang it! They ate it that quickly. Well, dang! They ate all my bread. Ah, the pigeons obviously like this dish vent. I need to get more bread now. Cause that worked, but I, it didn't work well enough. I need them to, like, stay there. You call the architecture brutalism, but I think it's more art deco? I... I, <laughs> I don't know anything about that. I'll take your word for it. Not entirely sure what I just did. Oh, I put in his mouthpiece. Yes, well, oh. now I know what Domino tastes like. I didn't mean to do that. Uh. What if we put this there? So it, they peck at it and it blows up. Maybe that will scare them. Eventually. The bread. Okay, now, now we get the bread. Now we now we fill it with bread and then and then they'll uh, they'll pop the thing. It'll it'll blow up and scare them and they'll fly away and then I can get the eggs. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. Luckily, I actually do remember where I got the bread, so. It's over here. Give me some more. I'll just take a little more bread to honor the dead. Yeah, might as well. Bread, dead, it rhymes. Wait. Bread, de bread dead, redemption. My favorite game of the, of the year. What's everybody's plans for the day? What do you guys have? Uh, what's your schedule? What are you guys up to? Recently started watching a pretty funny, wholesome Let's Player on YouTube that sort of reminds me of you. Oh, really? What? Uh, what's? Uh, what's their name? Yeah. I like that kind of stuff. Call me Kevin. Oh, I've been I've been watching Kevin for for a while now. <laughs> I've been watching him for years. He's fantastic. At least two or three years now at this point. He um, he played a lot of uh, a lot of the old Harry Potter games a while back, and uh, that's kind of what introduced me to him. Uh, 
His one chuck Minecraft sir? Yeah, I, I like that one as well. Uh, I just watched the second part there the other day, yesterday. It's very good. He did a few um he did a few Minecraft videos in VR as well, which is fun. Alright, come on over here, birds. Let's see what happens. Pop. Bang. There we go. Bye, Franklin. Bye. Yeah, beat it, you lousy little ledge pickers. Hey, no, he didn't say that, Franklin. Don't worry about it. Yeah, no, he's 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 incredibly talented. He's incredibly funny, and the the fact that he doesn't stick to any series very often every day is like a you different come with me, different upload. Ones, I like that. For I am the Green Reaper. You never know what uh, what you're gonna get. I think I should get out of here with these eggs before those vent vultures come back. Okay, good idea. Let's uh, let's bring these down to sell. The um, the Harry Potter videos were really good, and the um, the ones where he does the uh, the the they're not graphic novels, but they're the the games where you make decisions and stuff like that. He plays those games and he picks all the worst decisions all the time. Those are really fun too. Until Don, um, Calavera, you know those, those kind of games. Watching him just fail on purpose just to see what the characters do is is quite fun. It's so funny. He just like lets them trip over everything and, and stuff like that. It's really good. Here, I've got you your eggs. Check these babies out. Excellent, Manuel. With these, I can breed an entire army of winged messengers. Okay. Our revolution can spread now across the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice, thanks to you, Agent Calavera. I myself would also like to spread across the land. But you can't. We need your dental work here to access the computer. I am sorry, but freedom has its price. It's not freedom, then, is it? Wait, I've got the, the thingy, the thingy, the mouth guard. You can use that, and then I can go. I'm not sure what to make of that. Why don't you show it to my intelligence officer? Here. What's that? Domino's mouthpiece. Think you can get a dental impression off of it? No, the plastic's so hard he didn't leave a mark. Crap. Um, but if I heated it up and put it in my mouth, right? So where could we heat that up? It's a slide projector. I got him the eggs and then nothing happened. Nothing changed. Nothing progressed. It won't budge. It opens for members of the LSA only. Well, I'm ready to join. Look, you got the eggs you wanted. Now can I go? Sorry, but your teeth. The revolution depends on your teeth. Viva la revolucion! Okay, so I definitely need to do something with this mouth guard. Need to soften this up somehow. Can I put it in front it's of the light? for mouths. There's gotta be something like in the warehouse then. That we can use to heat heat this up or something. Let's see. What do we have access to? Is Goddess over here? Now that we're not trapped in his office, is he over here? His office is just open. Okay. Hey, what did they do with Gladys? This machine. What does this do again? It's meant for mouths. Ah. Oh, he's putting it in his mouth again. No, that's not what I wanted you to do. Yeah, well, now I know what Domino tastes like. Yeah. Put this in there. Fill a dent. Good for dents, great for dentures. Right, okay. Now put it in your mouth. Make a mold of your own teeth. Yeah. Wow, that made a perfect impression of my teeth. And then quite a... Chalky aftertaste too. Gross, but that's okay, because now we can, now we can leave. They don't need our teeth anymore. 
Aha! I'm a super sleuth. I know how things work. I've, I've, I've seen things work before. <laughs> Agent Calavera here. You asked about my plans. Probably going to play some Dread once the stream is done. No D&D &D today, man. I'm looking forward to like getting together and chit-chatting a bit about uh, Dread because I'm, look I'm looking forward to it. Oh, D&D is bi-weekly. I thought it was every week. Okay, yeah. Cool. I'm not sure what to make of that. Why don't you show it to my intelligence officer? Right. Here you go. My teeth. Manny, this looks like a perfect impression of your teeth. We can use this as a mold to make a fake set of teeth and get into the computer system that way. Good work, soldier. Excellent. Now, I, let me leave. You are a friend of the revolution, Agent Calavera. And now... Let me be of service to you. You must go to the town of Rubacaba, my friend. Rubacaba. You want to find your lost soul. How do you know where she is? I don't. But oh, we've got a new outfit and everything. The Ninth Underworld must cross the Sea of Lament, and therefore must go to Rubacaba to get passage on a ship. As long as you get there before she does, you'll find her. But it may be quite a wait. Okay. I'll wait as long as it takes. Manuel, are you in love with her? Love? What? Love is for the living, Sal. I'm only after we her just met her. reason. She's my ticket out of here. Yeah, she's like the best client we've ever had. We, we need her. He's got a good voice, doesn't he? Yeah. I wish that I sounded like that. Tunnel. I'm all the way to the edge of the petrified forest. Look, the city. We left. Ah, El Maro. My hometown. May I never see it again. This area is not... It's a bit spooky, though, all the same. Terry, what are your plans for today? Doing a bit of a stream, I think, but uh, any, any... Whoa. Oh no, got us! <laughs> Claude is my friend. Why are you crying? Maddie? Oh, Maddie! I bet he was fired. They yeah. fired me! I keep saying his name wrong. Me too, buddy. You don't understand, Manny. I was created just to do that job. It's the only thing that makes me happy. It's like they reached into my chest. He's so and animated. Out my heart and threw it into oh. the woods. <laughs> he just. He. Gladys, what have you done? Did he just oh, kill himself? Gladys. Did he just kill himself? <laughs> oh God! The spooks are coming for Gladys's heart. Oh my good lord! Oh, he's just asleep. Okay, he's just asleep. It's fine. Playo, how you, how you doing? Welcome to Grim Fandango, a point-and-click adventure game from 1840. Yeah, it's too well anchored. This signpost seems to be pointing the way to Rubacaba. Do we go into the spooky woods? Huh. We gotta get him his heart, right? Play oh yeah, this oh, is a point and click no. adventure game. We are Ooh, ick. Shoot! <clears throat> we are this Grim Reaper who works at a company that basically when you die, he's there to sell you a good travel package to the afterlife. Our, uh, our co-worker has been tampering with things so that we get all the shitty clients and he gets all the good clients and uh, we ended up getting ourselves fired. So we're trying to find a client that we lost and put a stop to this jackass of a sales guy. And uh, yeah. Uh, it's stuck in there good. Use your scythe. You're literally the Grim Reaper. It makes sense, yeah, of course, right? Yeah. Hey, buddy. You coming up? He's a cake. Coming up. Hello. Oh, dear lord. Chihuahua. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, he fixed the hole. <laughs> Don't think that's gonna work. Scheiße. Um, 
Terry, you're gonna stream something? You don't know? Do you have any uh, Thanksgiving plans? Playo, how about yourself? It's stuck in there good. I would like to see the baby. Okay. Hello. Oh, he's leaving. Go, bear. Come here. Come back. They want to say hi. He's like, quit it. You know what game this is from? Oh yeah, we get lots of free guy brush time now that all my stuff is out here. No Thanksgiving plans? Playo, how about yourself? Are you doing anything special for uh, for Thanksgiving today? Ah. Oh, I was, I was more so asking Guybrush what the what the name of the song was. This is what we're here for, honestly. We don't. We, who needs video games when you can just do this, right? This is this is gonna bring in all the subs. Look. <laughs> no, thank. I'm I'm working two jobs today. <laughs> I did move my bedroom into the living room, yeah. I did. I finally did. It, it took me a while because I had to, uh... I had to get rid of my couch because the couch is too big. But, uh, I managed to do that. And now my my bed is right there. And my computer's right here. It's great. Whenever I'm watching a YouTube video and I don't want to sit here anymore, I just click, boom, cast to the TV, and then I'll go lie down on my bed, and it's, it's there. It's fantastic. It's the perfect thing. Boop, 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 boop. You guys want to see? Can I, uh, can I do a little, little room tour here? If I, is this going to mess everything up? Break the fourth wall? Check this out. Ugh. Now, now we're mobile. Look. There's my, there's my closet. My new closet. My washer and dryer. I know you guys can't hear me very well. Sorry. Um. But then, uh, there's uh, there's all the pop figures by the window. There's the bed, clearly made up and clearly clearly good. There's my Halloween decorations and stuff, right there. There's Goober. Hey, buddy. That's uh, that's that's my kitchen. But yeah, this this is my this is the new setup. It's pretty great. Yeah, it's pretty great. I gotta say, it's uh, it's. I did. I I had no need to have everything in separate rooms, and now those other two rooms are empty, for me to do whatever I want with them. I'm gonna turn one into a a, a good place to watch movies. I'm gonna put blankets on all the walls, so it's kind of soundproofed and it absorbs all the um. Um. So it absorbs all the sound. Get a TV in there, some chairs, so then I can have people over to watch movies. Um, and then the other room is where I'm just going to put a bunch of bookshelves and have all of my, you know, games and Pokemon cards and all that kind of stuff displayed. Looking forward to it. And yeah, the kitchen's right there. <laughs> like, very, very easy access. The bathroom is, like, literally right there as well. It's a pretty good setup. I, I'm pretty pleased with, with, with the way it's turned out so far. I uh, got a pumpkin and stuff like that the other night. Yeah, last night. So I'm going to fiddle with that. It's been good. It's been good. It's been good. Um, yeah, what about your guys? What, what's your setup like? Like, if you had to describe the way that your setup is, how would you describe it? It's an ugly pile of bones, like me. I guess I could always use a spare. I feel you, Manny. If I had a way to block the light from the kitchen into the living room, um, and an easy way to get Ethernet into my room, I'd probably turn my living room into your bedroom. That's fair, yeah. Yeah. Um, blocking light, I mean, you just need some blackout curtains, right? <laughs> I've got some you could borrow. Uh, you've never been here, how do I? Well, I just, just, if, if, if someone, 
someone didn't know you, how would you describe your room to them? Can I just wake him up? Or does he need his heart for that? Wake up, buddy. Nope, not happening. Do you like sleeping in the pitch black? That's fair. I, I don't mind having, I, I can have some lights on. Like right now I've got the orange Halloween lights on that kind of gives like a nice orange glow to everything, which I don't mind. It says bone wagon on the side. Bone wagon, a. I can't drive that thing. Okay, let's um, let's try the bone on that web. Let's see what that's all about. Sleep blood is laying there. He could be dying. Let's 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 help Gladys. He's too loud. He's so loud. I know. I need to. I I've tried to turn the game down already. Soup's on. Huh? They don't seem very interested in that bone I put in there. Okay. They don't care about the bone. Gotta turn everything down like so much. It's still too loud. So if I use the scythe now, what's gonna happen? My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Um, I'd need three sets of blackout curtains: two for the window, and two for the uh, oh, two for the window and door in the kitchen. Right. Fair enough. Oh, poor spiders! No more demon heart to eat. No more demon heart. All right, well, we've got the heart. That was pretty easy, actually. Not what I would have thought to do, but there you go. It, it works. <laughs> it worked. It's still beating. I mean, that's good, right? Can we just stuff it back in his chest? Literally. Yep. Okay, good. Get that back in there. Heart. Heart is good. Be good to heart. Yep. Don't tear out heart. Heart is good. Strong. Beating good heart. Hey, Sassy, what's up? Hello. How you doing? Happy Sunday. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. What are you guys thankful for? Let's let's hit you with that question. Everybody loves that question. I will personally track her down myself, just like you. Personally picked her up. Oh my God, this guy is definitely evil. That was my intention, but Agent Calavera somehow got to her first. We gave you the Foster's car, Domino. We Thanksgiving is technically tomorrow, I guess, yeah. <laughs> we can celebrate a little bit early. Calavera, able to sneak in there and eat your lunch. Oh, now, Hector, you can't get too mad at Domino. That wasn't his fault. Oh, I can, Dom. You should know I can get too mad. God, he's so big. But Jesus. Domino. After all, he wasn't in charge of this operation. Not until now. He's got a gun. No! Can you kill someone who's already dead? Marigold. <laughs> Funny. Holy shit. For some reason, I was expecting tulips. Well, maybe Mr. Calavera, eh, Domino? Why don't you Jesus. personally go down to the basement and escort him up here? That's, that's Jim Ward? Ward? Want to go for a ride? Jesus, I they just straight up killed my boss. Ask. Sassy, you're thankful for all the noms? That's pretty great. What, uh, what kind of noms you got? You getting some turkey, some dressing? Oh. Some turkey dressing Sorry. sandwiches? Oh, man. All right, what way do we want to go? This way. Good lord. What is any of this? You're cooking dinner? Oh, hell. Híjole, man. What sort of unholy Christmas tree farm is this, Gladys? What are you cooking? Gladys? Manny, check out this wheelbarrow, will you? With a couple of ATV nubby tires on the back and a two-stroke lawnmower engine, we could make one sweet go-kart. Hmm. Turkey supper. That's incredible. Well, good for you. I hope it goes well. Turkey... Turkey dinner doesn't seem like an easy thing to make for me. I would just, uh... I would just have craft dinner. 
<laughs> like I'm not I'm not super picky. Okay, we can like carry this around. So that's helpful, like I guess. Thanksgiving stream. You're thankful for the Thanksgiving stream? And thankful for turkey. That's fair. I just, I'm not a huge fan of turkey. It's one of those things Ooh, that I've just had so much of me. in my life. With the harmonic balance it turned off, those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but... Oh! But what? If we shut the tree down, those pumps would dislodge, and I could make high lift shocks out of them for the bone wagon. Hold on. I'm going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights. That'll shake it down for sure. Okay, Gladys, you knock that tree down, big boy. Okay. okay, just give me a second to balance Be careful up there, Gladys, please. Flip the switch now. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gladys. I had to see what would happen. Outside of the entertainment value, that didn't do what I had hoped. Oh, no, let's, uh... Sorry, Gladys. <laughs> sorry, my good. Sorry, my guy. dirty trick, man. I did, I did mean... It was an accident. I didn't mean it. switch with my elbow. Oh, okay. He instantly believes me. Okay. You gonna try again there, pal? Everything in this game is too loud. You were given a turkey from work, so it's a little unplanned. Oh, wow, okay, that's even better. That's really graceful, too. That's uh, graceful, charitable, generous. Generous is the word I was looking for. It's really generous of them to just kind of give you a, give you a turk. Could turn down the game audio on OBS, yeah. That'll that'll help you guys at least. And I won't get so annoyed when I look back at this VOD and think, God, it's too loud. I hate everything about it. Gladys, what are they doing to that tree? Oh, city boy. You work all day in a 60-story skyscraper, but didn't you ever wonder what it was made of? The marrow of these trees. Oh no. They suck it out. It's like cement. Is that why the town's called El Marrow? Huh? Marrow in the trees? That's gross. It's very sweet. Are, are, are turkeys in short supply right now? I didn't know that. Gobble, gobble, everybody. I don't know if I'm going to have any turkey or not. My, my parents might save me, or my family might save me some dinner, but... Wheel should really be shaking the tree down, don't you think? It should be, but we need to dislodge it a bit more somehow. Throw the fire extinguisher That's at it. On fire. Okay, fair enough. Oi vey. Uh, what else you got for me, Gladys? This place gives me the creeps. I'm ready to go when you are. Okay. Well, he can use these to make a, a jumper. A jumping thing for our car so we can keep that in mind we don't really need a jumping thing right now I don't think play what uh, what are your tr what are your tricky day plans do you have any any plans in sp specifically blah, blah, blah. going to your family's place staying at your own house what's uh, what are you up to have any few drinks that's what I need I think that's what I'm gonna try to do tonight after work Get myself a few Randy, drinks going. This is a low riding street rod, not a four by four. We don't have the clearance for that kind of road. Okay, well, let's go over this way then instead. Oh, God. Where are we now? Let's go in one of these. You're just gonna come out another one? Yeah. Hey, wait a second. For God's sakes. Monkey Island had all these kind of puzzles, too. Do you guys remember that awful, awful swamp puzzle from Escape from Monkey Island? I hate this shit. I hate this shit. <laughs> it's like a poorly made Lost Woods. God damn it. 
Okay. <laughs> Definitely some drinks. Can't have turkey without wine. And I'll be dining with your family. Oh, that's cool. That's nice, though. That's a good. That's a good Thanksgiving. I ain't driving back to town, Manny. Okay. Well, this tree is literally the only thing we have. So we must have to do something here. So if we pull this lever again, that speeds this up, right? Hey, while you have that off, let me try moving those weights around some more. Okay, while he's up there, what do I want to do here? Turning it on does nothing. Now, no monkey business this time, Talavera. I definitely do have to turn it on while he's up there, but I need to do something else first. But I don't know what that, what that is. I've only got a fire extinguisher and my thing, so. That should do it. Oh, did I just have to let him do what he? Is that all I had to do? Was just wait for him? Still not enough. And maybe if I moved him around a little. Alright, try that again. Uh, oh yeah, that clip. That's that's from that swamp. Hey, yeah, screw that part. That off, let me try moving those weights around some more. Okay, let's turn it on again while he's up there. Maybe we can do something while he's spinning around. Now, no monkey business this time, Calavera. Have fun, Gladys. I'm sorry, pal. Had to be done. Can I pick up any of these rocks? I can move the cart now. Doesn't really do anything for me, though. Do I have to, like, try to catch him or something? I, I'm very confused. Yeah, I don't like that Monkey Island game. Not not a good one. Thanksgiving always makes you want to play Pokemon. Oh, man. Pokemon is coming out very soon. We've got a brand new Pokemon game coming out next frickin' month, Sassy. Are you ready? Are you getting it? Is anybody else getting the Pokemon remake? It's unclear, but it's possible to block airflow to the four pistons with the wheelbarrow. Okay, so I guess you need to, like, put the wheelbarrow on these lines, I guess? Like, if I... Okay, yeah, I can kind of see it happening now. So if I leave that there, then this one is blocked. Does that... What does that mean, though? <laughs> Probably not. I'm still barely into S.H.I.E.L.D. It's slow playing games. I play too many at once. I can't keep up with the Pokemon series. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. You gotta, you gotta get through what you have before you go buy new games, I suppose. I'm usually the same way, but with Pokemon, Pokemon takes takes precedent over it. anything else, really, for me. I love Pokemon. Looks like you need the two pistons on the left to open and close in the same time alteration. Okay. They are doing that now, though. So do I just send them up there now? Oh, I see why. Let me try moving those weights around some more. Oh, the one on the bottom right isn't moving. Okay, I see what you mean. Now, no monkey business this time, Calavera. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Manny, you I understand now. We want it. We want them to shake the tree back and forth, right? Like uh, like they do in Pirates of the Caribbean with the boat.
Sunrise, sunset. Up is down, down is up. Too much of a completionist, so it's taking forever, but I find any Pokemon game will scratch the itch. Well, that's good. That's good. Just wait until I finally release the, uh, the Pasta Party Pokemon game that I've been working on. Just heck and wait. Just need to get that last piston on the bottom right, okay. So this has to be it, right? Now they're both... Yeah, that should be it. What a strange puzzle. Hey, while you have that off, let me try moving those weights around some more. And then with him on it is as extra weight, and it both rocking back and forth. That should uh, that should send this careening over. Now, no monkey business this time, Calavera. I'm gonna do some monkey business, Gladys. I gotta tell you. Yeah, that should fall right over. Look at that. Come on. Yeah. We got it. Okay. Yeah, he's got tiny little ears. I like it. What a relief. I was getting concerned that our transportation wasn't ostentatious enough. Ostentatious enough. Or are you afraid of heights? I'm assuming now we can go on that rough road that we couldn't go on before this one here. Pokemon is a very is a very completionist heavy game too. We're trying to catch them all and then you can do the living decks if you want to make it even more uh time consuming. <laughs> Such a good time, though. There's nothing I love more than just running around an open map, catching Pokemon that I need. I love it. There's a big old padlock on this outer gate. I couldn't take that off with my bare hands. I couldn't take that. If only I hadn't thrown away that little hand exercise or Domino got me for Secret Santa. It is in the song. Yeah, you're right. Gotta catch them all. They said, they said it. Manny, what are you doing? Don't you know what's on the other side of that gate? Yeah, the way out of the forest. Demon beavers, Manny. Oh, God. They'll make you into a dam. Relax, Geppetto. I'm not made of wood. But, Manny, they don't use wood. Oh, God. Oh, why are they on fire? <laughs> why are the demon beavers on fire? <laughs> why? Run, Manny. Christ's sakes. Okay. Close. Close that door, perhaps. I mean, I've got something that they might not appreciate. Ha-ha! You're extinguished. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go on, get. Ain't no match for me. I'll cross your Demon River Dam and not give a damn about it. That road leads out of the forest, I'm sure. But I don't think I'd get very far on foot. Hey! <laughs> okay. Can we attach the fire extinguisher to the vehicle somehow? And drive over the demon, the demon beavers? No. Man, I thought I figured it out first try. But we need to get the car through here. We need to get this lock open. That's not on fire. Yeah, I know. Just go through the door. Is there anything else in here that I can kind of grab? I don't like their gnawing on the bones noises. Is there a path on the left? Uh, is this a is this a separate path? It might be. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was the exit, but it's not. Get away from me, Demon Beaver. Get away from me. Okay, what do we have? What is this? Water. That's not on fire. No, I know. Put the put the extinguisher away. This river seems to be made of tar, but those beavers just seem to cut through it like water. 
guitar, eh? Uh, okay. It really doesn't give me much to go on either, does it? <sighs> Can I put out a fire somewhere? Can I use it on the tar? Doesn't seem to be doing anything. What is this fire up here? Is that just one of the beavers? Yeah. They just reignite, so like we can get across here, but we need to get the vehicle across here somehow. Run for your lives, you buck tooth glow balls. It's rude. Was there a path? To the left, back at the crossroads? Back this way? That's not on fire. Yeah, put the thing away. It's fine. Come on, Gladys. Let's crash through this gate and drive right over those oh. monsters. Mm, no way, Manny. Oh, those flaming bone beavers are mean. They You're a gigantic demon from the underworld. My drive shaft, I'd be picking flaming hunks of fur out of my Just smash through them. I'm not going down there until you get rid of them. Annoying. Okay, is there a path to the left? There's a path to the right. There's this path here. But this is the Lost Woods scenario, which sucks. And it is also loud. What if we just pick the right path, like, right away? That would be great. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. It is not gonna happen. There's nothing back here that can help us. What am I supposed to do with tar and a bunch of beavers? There was a sign, yeah. There's no door on this trailer. I think it's just a big generator. There was a sign where we found Gladys. Yeah, we we backed up into it. It looks like I think we probably broke it. Head back. Let's head back. Yeah, there's a sign right here. But I don't seem to be able to interact with it anymore. We can't fit down there. Or can I just hear? Oh, I can get out. Okay. Yeah, okay. I can see the sign now. This signpost seems to be pointing the way to Rubakaba. Can I Take it? Gimme. Yeah, because we backed into it and loosened it. I see. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. So this sign always points to the place we need to go. So if we bring it into this lost area, it should show us what path we need to go in, right? Guaranteed. Could we put it like right here? Show us what way to go, sign. Groovy. This one. I think. I think this is right. Can you pick up the pace there, little? Can you go just a smidge faster? Take your time, Manny. Got all the time in the world.
it's fine. I can double click, but when it's like when it's use or or anything like that, it he won't run. You can't double click the use function. Only when there's an arrow. You love his driving noises? I'm a fan as well. Uh, Gladys is a pretty dope character so far, I gotta say. I'm here for it. Now, why didn't that work? Is it this way that it's pointing? Heck, was I wrong? Do you make those noises when you're driving, Sassy? Just like... Every single time? He's go he goes really hard into it though, <laughs> doesn't he? You gotta make the zoom zoom noises when you're driving, I guess, yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay. What way is it pointing though? Can I move it? I don't know if it's pointing to this one or this one. Very, very confused. Gladys! I get it! Oh. Well, now it's pointing this way. Uh. Well, it's pointing somewhere. Yeah. Well, it's pointing somewhere. It wants me to go that way now, which is is wrong, because that'll just take us out of here. Did I just not have it in the right place? What's happening now? Oh, oh. Loteria. Well, that's not what I expected to happen. How, what? I guess it was trying to lead me to place it in the right spot, I guess. Okay, well. He's just screaming. <laughs> Consistently screaming. He's like all of us. Except it's external, not internal. Alright, let's go. Into this mysterious hole in the ground. Danny, I'm scared of that sign. Alright. Seems like you can make Manny run to the next, run next to the vehicle, and then walk the rest of the way into the car. Oh, okay. Some sort of warning sign. They'll tear you apart, bone by bone, and build with you a human throne. Their buck-toothed king will sit upon what once was you, but now is gone. This key unlocks the gates of hell. Steady traveler, use it well. All right. The King Demon Beaver wants to make a throne out of my body, which is nice. Give me that key. I know where that key goes. Can't pass up an old creepy key. No, you got that right. Put that away. I know where that goes. Can we investigate up here? Gladys, you coming? Oh, it just leads us back here. Okay, groovy. This is where I wanted to go. Because this key is gonna unlock this gate, right? With those monsters on the other side, I'm happy with this thing locked. See, okay. That didn't really gain us anything. We got a key and a new trail. Run here, Manny. And then get in the car. Need to deal with the beavers first, yeah. So it has something to do with that tar. Maybe if I can get the beavers into the tar, they'll like get stuck. Oh wait, there's another cutscene.
It's a pretty sweet ride, I gotta say. Like, that's, that's pretty... That's a pretty sick... I'd drive that. A little chair on the back? Oh, yeah. All right, the beavers, I'm here. And have I got something to show you? It's this again. They keep running back to the one that's on fire to reignite themselves. So it's like I need to, I need to get them all. Oh yeah. That's not on fire. Yeah, we can observe the dam. Can I use the dam? Oh yeah. I just picked up a bone, I think. Is that what I got? Yeah, yeah, okay. Ooh, something has sucked the marrow out. Gross. Okay, so now I've got a bone. I can just take bones. I'll just drop this one. I'm carrying around too many of those already. Okay. This part is kind of unclear. Uh, they usually are, yeah. Remember the left path, yeah. Dude goes up there. I like to save bones for special occasions. Can I put the bone here? I like to save bones for special occasions. If I lure them here with a bone and then light them all or extinguish them all, then they won't be able to reignite themselves, right? But how do I get him to drop the bone? Throw the bone into the icky river here, then immediately use the extinguisher you grabbed earlier to put out the flaming beaver when it leaps off. Once you've dealt with the beavers, this way you'll be done with this section. Okay. I was close. Okay, let's get our extinguisher out. Come on, beaver. Got him. <laughs> and he just sinks. But now there's another one. Do I just have to repeat this process for all of them? Or can I just... I need to repeat the process. Oh, for God's sakes. All right. Put out your light, my friend. No, put that away, Manny. Grab another. We're just gonna murder some beavers here, alright? Hey, everybody, welcome to my stream where we're destroying some beavers. We don't, we don't do this too often on stream, but here we are. In you go, pal. In you go, friend. Atta boy. Let's do it again. I really need to play Deponia sometime, because these point-and-click adventure games are all old. Deponia is like new. So we might have a more fun time with, with a newer newer one. My name's Manny Calavera and I'm your new travel Yeah, okay. Just grab another bone. Not saying this game is bad. Keep in mind. I like the I like the concept. It's just one of those games that you definitely need to walk through with walk through on hand for. Jump on in. Yeah, there shouldn't be any more, right? Sick. We did it. Now Gladys is going to want to go through. Wait, can we open the gate now? It's the key to the gates of hell, I seem to recall. 
Yeah. This outer gate is huge. I'll need Gladys to open it. Okay. Manny, I don't know if I like driving over people. They can't feel it. They're dead. What dead? I wouldn't want to drive over you. That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. Aww. Aww. Manny. We're pals. Leads out of the forest, I'm sure. But I don't think I'd get very far on foot. Okay, Manny. <laughs> God, where on earth are we now? Did we find her that quick? I like how as soon as we joined the resistance, they had a full new uniform for us. <laughs> You're right. We're gonna have to find a good place to hide that road show. Speaking of hiding, I wonder if Mech is here already. Oh, is this the train station? Is this where the nine leaves from? That'd be cool. He's just, he's just bouncing. Making noise again, like he always does. Oh, no, he stopped. He's done. Okay, let's see who lives here. Hello? Anybody home? Oh, hello. Oh, it's like a, it's like a restaurant. Good day, sir. Mr. Flores. I'm ready to take you now. Manny Calavera, is that you? Didn't you used to be taller? Is this the guy that we, we helped at the beginning? Manny gave him a sidelong look and he sadly sank. Yeah, yeah. He like pointed at him. At, ah, Gladys, quit it. I'm here to reclaim that walking stick. I broke it over the head of some hideous monsters in the forest. Oh, well. I'm looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name. And you can take it from me. I, too, am looking for someone. So I watch the comings okay. and goings around here very carefully. We did what we could for this guy. Uh, I really wish there was an option to say I'm selling these fine leather jackets. But there, it's not there. <laughs> Who are you looking for? Well, if you must know, it's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long ago. Like, look behind you, there's a three headed monkey. She too was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It is said that all lost souls come to Rubacava. So I came here to wait for her. Is uh Is the girl we met? Is that his wife? You must love her very much, also. Yes, this is true. That'd be of cool. course she also has all of my money. Oh. <laughs> How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny. If she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. Uh... <laughs> I'll help you find your wife. What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Is, Is it her? She is something. She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? There's a spooky, scary skeleton inside all of us just trying to get out, right? And that's what, that's what this game... That's what, that's what this game is trying to tell us. So, know a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. I have a job. Can you get me a job here? Have any skills? Sales? Well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but, but we what? only have one mop. Well. I'm sorry, Manuel. I've got to get this place ready to open. Right. I'll let you know if I see your wife. She'll be Let the me one them asking up. for a beloved Celso. We just got an achievement. We only have one map, which is great. Hmm. Maybe I should place a personal ad. I tried it. Believe me, it attracts the wrong kind of women. No. Oh. Is he mopping carpet? I feel like this is this is tile. It looks kind of like tile. It could be carpet. Hmm. Maybe I should place a personal ad. Okay, no, I don't want to have that happen again. Hmm. No, stop saying that. Maybe I should place a personal hand. Take the mustard. You can never know when you need mustard. I hate the way mustard spouts get all crusted like that. Some sassy mustard. The glove compartment on the bone wagon is full of tiny ketchup and mustard packets. Not to mention the soy bone sauce. wagon. Is I that really what we've decided to call it? The bone wagon. I dig it. Okay, well. 
Are you sure I can't sleep in the back? There's only room for one. Okay, this place seems to be useless as of right now. But we got a picture of the woman, so let's have a look. What did she look like? Oh, it is her. It's Celso's wife. Actually, I don't think skin would help. Oh, maybe it's not her. No, it's not. It's not the same woman. Okay. Eat boogers. Well, I'm not gonna do that, but I will take. I will do a hydrate for you. Delicious. Thank you. For the hydrate. Is that a door up there? I kind of want to go up there. How you doing, John boy? Happy Thanksgiving. Happy almost Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Eve? What do people call it? Ooh. Oh shit. Just walked off a cliff. <laughs> yeah, I like this guy. I like this sailor man. You gotta watch your step around here, stranger. Rubicon ain't the quaint little port town she Murray? used to be. Well, hell, looks like there's a new vessel in town. Pardon me whilst I go check her out. That voice sounds really familiar. He was in Monkey Island 3. As Good Soup. Right? I almost guarantee he was he did a voice in Monkey Island 3. That sounds so familiar. We're we're cold now. I'm right. Awesome. Well, actually, it's mostly stock with a few mods here and there. So, would those be glass packs I'm hearing or turbos? Just the way he, his enunciation of words. I picked up on it immediately. pitched wine it was making. Really grating noise, you know? And He's the dude in Monkey Island 3 who had the hangover the and wouldn't talk to us about... We pulled in the air. Um, was it the blower? No, it was man. He wouldn't tell us about like uh, the treasure of Big Whoop until we got him uh, a hangover cure. Hola. Hey, Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry dock the bone wagon for a while. The bone wagon. Oh, yeah. I'm here for that. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog. Kay Cooter died in 2003. Wow, that's a while ago. Did you hear that, Manny? Holy crap. You folks want to stay in Rubicava for a spell? Uh, yeah, maybe. We're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks for a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well... Like I said, I'm as good with If she had a tattoo, it's long gone now. <laughs> I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Well, there's lots of work down at the docks. Union but work. It's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> wow. Rude. How do you get around here with all the mist? Uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where P you are. Excuse me? By the smell of the sea. Pilgrim? By the sound of the lonely foghorn. By the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow. Manny, could I have an eye patch? Fuck yeah, you can. We should all get eye patches. He did the voice of Ego, the living planet, in the Fantastic Four TV show in the 90s. Wow, okay. Cool. Can I just ask, what is under the eye patch? Because I know it's not an eye. Oh, well, when I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that one I saw it used to... This game is a very good game to play this time of year, I gotta say. It's, it's setting a very spooky, kind of eerie afterlife kind of uh, atmosphere, which is nice. Hey, hey, okay. Like it, it, it feels good to be in this world right now. I'm Gladys, kind of, I'm digging it. Gotta hide that car. In a minute, Manny. I'm talking to Mr. Doc Master here. Also, TNG. You sure I, a really? Mercedes Colomar never came through this town? Did he do a voice in TNG, or was he actually in it? I told you the first time. I'm no good with names. Gladys, in a minute. Okay, so these guys aren't going to give me any advice now either. So I guess we go back up here then. Fall back in the water? Potentially? I think I'll wait for the fog to clear before I try exploring town again. Okay. I can't talk to them anymore. I can't go that way. There's nothing else to back, back down there. Let's uh, go up here. Let's go back in, inside, I guess. It's the only other thing I have. It was a one-off roll in the next generation? That's pretty cool. 
Oh, wait. He's no good with names. We do have a picture. Let's show the picture of the woman to the dock captain. That's probably a smarter idea. The character was only seen as a face on a view screen. Ah, I see. I see. Still cool, though. That's a, that's a good thing to have in, like, your uh, film repertoire. In your, uh, in your credit backlog. Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She sailed out of here weeks ago in a cozy fortside cabin built for two. And she wasn't alone. Oh, no, his wife. His wife left him with Why another man. sailed out of here? I don't believe it. That's a tough break, Junior. But you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two paid in full. Oh, well. Our I pal is not going to be happy about that. Myself. Hey, Manny. We were in the middle of a conversation here. I'm sorry, Gladys. Hey, okay, okay. Look, I know how you feel, son. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port. And I never saw her again. Oh, what that's was sad. The name? The SS La Mancha. Was oh, he's talking about the boat. <laughs> we talked about her because I, I just can't do it. He didn't love anybody. He loved the boat. Communist ghost, how's it going? What's up? Uh, what song do you never want to hear in Japan? I don't get it. I don't get it. How about in the attic? That's the boss's office. You can sleep there when you're the boss. Oh. Uh, the ship's log. Velasco's logbook says Celso's wife took a bunk with a honk. Here, look. Celso, your wife sailed out of here two months ago with another man. Uh-oh. It's all in there. Is he gonna oh, quit? Manny. Is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of... Women? I'm, uh, I'm not a history buff, communist. So uh, sorry. Yours, no, I don't. I don't know much about history. You take over my job here. This map at least will never let you down. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, he turned the thing that we gave him at the beginning into a map. That's what he did. I get it now. And now we've got a compass. Which will help us through the mist. Right? I believe they're referring to a nuclear explosion. Oh, I see. We don't really do uh, tragedy jokes around this part. Oh man, we're a big old... Look at our suit. Are we just working here now? Did we just take his job? Hey boss, you gonna come downstairs? I got a customer asking for you. You know I don't like to mingle. Oh, it's one year later. I guess we own this place now. Okay. One year later. Well, looks like a quiet night in old Rubacaba. Quiet night in old Rubacaba. Okay. It's one o'clock. Do we want to do we want to stop here or do we want to keep going a little bit longer? I've, I don't have to work until two but we just completed year one so this might be a good spot to finish up for the day my call yeah um this seems like a good spot to to end it i think just because we just got a a, a milestone and whatnot so i think uh, i think we'll probably call it here um shorter stream today um and i'm sorry that it's not at the normal time normally we'd go live at four but i got called into work today so i've got to Got to take care of that, and I've got some other um, other work that I need to get done as well. So I'm I'm fairly busy today. So uh, it was nice to get a stream in though. I, I didn't want to I didn't want to not stream because I, I hate canceling streams these days because I think I've found a, a good balance for streaming and uh, in my regular life. You got some dreading to do? Yeah, I might try to get some in before work as well. We'll see. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, we'll probably keep going with this game on uh, on Tuesday because uh, I'm interested to see. Um, where the story goes, the plot. Um, and uh, uh, I wouldn't say no to another magnet on my fridge, you know? It's been a while since we've beat a game, so we'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling on Tuesday. If we want to keep going with this, we'll, we'll decide from there. 
Um, but other than that, I will see you guys then. My name has heckin' been Swirly Pilgrim. Never ever forget to eat your greens. Don't forget to stay home, stay safe, and of course, as always, stay fresh, cheese bags. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. I am thankful for everybody that just tuned in. Thank you guys, I appreciate that. Um, I got some good videos going up on the YouTube channel this week. Pay, look out for those. And I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye, everybody.